shadow knows. <laughs> I feel used. I kind of like the Tesco's bag. I think it, it brings out a nice idea of uh, circulation and recycle about materials. The, the artist is like a connector. He's connecting stuff up in his head, and, and, and that, that's what makes it interesting because he's not just he's not just sort of referencing oh landscape painting or Dutch landscape or Dutch still life painting. He's actually dealing in the kind of material uh, of the news, the materi materiality of the news, the 24-7 global news. You know, he's dealing, in the mo he's dealing in the modern world. He's dealing in the 21st century. He's not, you know, not, there's no nostalgia. Uh, I think that's one of the strengths of this, this, uh, this show. Is he's, got, he's got various kind of skills, but he's not, he's not, he's not uh, uh, hung up by the past. interesting exhibition. I think that it's um, provocative and smart. There are moments in the show that are extremely arresting and they really make you think about where you are in the world and how you're relating to it. And what for me is striking is that it's so varied. So there's found material but there's also very expressionistic artwork that seems to be um, specific to Eugene, and that for us, uh, at least for me, I think is, is um, a unique kind of vantage point because often it's either or, so it's a lot of found material or alternatively it's very expressionistic. So I'm, I'm enjoying the exhibition and um, I look forward to seeing the work that Eugene produces in the future. I really like all the texture and marks that make up this mask. I'm really downhearted about the artwork because my artwork's been stolen. I would think that it's, it's really nice, but um, until I get Humpty back, I, I haven't really got much to say. Actually, I'm going to go because he seems to think that Humpty's not coming back to me. So that's it then. It's humorous, but it's dangerous, and it's innocent, but it's dark. That it's, it's contradictory, yeah, it's, it's, um, it's true, it's ironic, and I'm all born innocent, we're all born watching Walt Disney and, and, and fairy tales and listening to fairy tales and, you know, Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall, Eugene's little, Eugene's little new little toy, which was Jargacious, you know, and, uh, you know, and, and Innocence is lost. Innocence is lost for the young, this young man, you know? It tells me what is happening in the world. ...have died. Bali, October 2002, a year into the so-called war on terror, and another country feels its impact. Three bombs tore apart a packed tourist resort on the Indonesian island, killing people like Dan Miller. 31 years old, married for five weeks, travelling... It's quite disorientating, you know, the mixture of, of sound and, and the paintings and the, the sort of installation aspects of it. My yeah. favourite is, is the crime scene because you have to climb underneath it to see the picture at the end and I really like that. I enjoy like sculpture work, you know, three-dimensional work rather than like 2D art in like white cube gallery space. Therefore I like those, uh, I don't know, like installation, like site-specific work because it makes me like have a reason to sort of be here. I, I quite like the art scene with the little balloons with the men on it, but I actually want to walk across the tape, but I'm behaving myself. I haven't walked across the tape yet, but I was wondering what happened if I did walk across the tape. It made me feel brave to walk through behind yeah. you, my yeah. dear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah, yeah. still brave. In my way. It was a bit um, uninviting to walk over. Yes. 
I think, I think you know, that it's, it's curious because these things, we're all psychologically conditioned to respond to this in a certain way. And I think clearly it's worked, but I kind of like being a little transgressive. You know, I kind of like going places where I'm not supposed to go. The guys wearing the um, costumes, the forensic costumes, it makes me feel like it's in a, a crime scene, and that's what he's trying to do here. Like, he's trying to achieve that effect. So it's stimulating. It, 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 it's, it's stimulated me. It stimulated thought. And I think that's probably what art's supposed to do, isn't it? But I think that, for me at least, I, I waver from feeling very much in solidarity with it to feeling very much estranged by it. And it's, um, it's a, a social, political, comical commentary on life. Well, there's one I find really disturbing, so, um, which is the MH, what was that, 370 flight. Um, the reason being is because it's obviously something that's quite devastating, so um, for him to actually portray it is interesting. Very interesting. I think it's a crash, isn't it? It's about a crash, an, air, an airline crash, so... Yes, feelings of empathy. Just trying to take it all in and trying to figure out where it's coming from. Superman can't save us from Al-Qaeda, terrorism and that kind of thing, because it's not... If it's a plane falling, then he can help, but if it's people doing crazy stuff, then... made me think in, in quite an animated way that like you could look into a piece of artwork and you'd, you'd see something totally different like over there is a McDonald's sign and then it says can I have, have a quarter pound of burger and the a coat before I pass please and when I first looked at it I thought something totally different or like the Superman and then when I really looked into it, I saw these messages and those really touched me and made me think. I, I'm Jonas, uh, also uh, uh, an art practitioner in, in Hackney. Uh, it's actually my partner, Christina, who curated the, uh, the exhibition. Um, and I, I have to say it's, really, it's been really good experience working with Eugene. Uh, he has some very interesting and strong ideas. I don't think it's a matter of a certain message, it's what really one wants to make of it rather than uh, a certain message. So. His political stance is fantastic, really good, saying stuff that needs to be said and that people don't say because it doesn't sell. Have a voice, maybe? I think he has one, and I think he's maybe preaching that we all should have one, in a sense. Thank you. I now have your hat, Eugene, and if you give me back my Humpty, then you'll get back your hat. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>